वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्त बिंदु समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपी जन समयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाचा कल्पतरु वश्य की भाषिंदु भवश पतिता पावने भवैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुखी वाचाल पातमंदी परमानंदमाधव बृंदाव तुलसी देव कोई पिया वही केशव सच कृष्ण भक्ति पर देवी नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरचम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोजयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरु होते युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर धेय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचन तम शरण्य वेतातिह पुनदीपूत वंदे महापुरष ते चरणिंद यदपल्पवनखचंदमि छटाय विस्फुजीत गमकोदर्श पूर्णानुरागर सागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुता श्री अद्वैत राधर शिव सदी गौरभक्त श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुता श्री अद्वैत राधर शिव सदी गौरभक्त हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजा आजानुलंबित भुजो कनुका बुदत संकर्तन कवितरो कमलाशताक्ष विशाबरो दिजबरो जगदारोपाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तब पात पंकज सुरासुरवंदित दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति चदा भावान सदा नरा गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनोंग मदापारम वाराणसी पुरपति भज भीषनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीश च रक्षसी यस्ती 
that paratattva how we can get the actual darshan of paratattva how we can get that in order to but the prabhupada actually giving answer regarding this that in this material world in this material world that in bonded condition that uh, to get the darshan of paratattva it is not at all possible at all that for us that our present uh, condition that our uh, uh, materialistic destructible sense organs that in fr- in order to get uh, in front of paratattva it is not at all possible with this materially destructible sense organ so what is the actual if that we cannot get the actual darshan of paratattva in this condition then what is the actual uh, uh, actual el- eligibility then the prabhupad speaking that that our cover our nishkapat and akapat bhav that if we are nishkapat in nishkapat bhav that we are becoming sevan mukh if we are getting sevan mukh with nishkapat bhav and in in the present condition that what is the actual condition of the bonded jivas the bonded jivas are speaking that first we are we will definitely do some agreement what we will get after that we will follow that profit and loss account they want what they will get out of that you just need to t- uh, show me and after that we will follow but uh, in the paratattva vishay this kind of this kind of mood is not at all good at all that uh, in the vishay of paratattva first you need to make sure that unconditional submission should be there and after that only you can if you don't have desire then you can go away but this is the actual procedure you need to, you need to follow that kind of challenging mood first you need to speak that what you need uh, you just show me what you will be giving after that i'll be doing bhajan but this kind of mood is not at all applicable here this vichar is not at all applicable at all in this aprakrit rajya that i have come to gurudev what gurudev can give me he just give me an agreement just write on it and after that i will uh, come into bhajan this unconditional submission i will be doing then after that gurudev can give us that in this material vichar that kind of material vichar cannot be get applicable in that transcendental world at all so that uh, how, what is that if we cannot go on to the platform of paratattva with this mater- materialistic destructible mind intelligence and sense organs and what is the actual uh, point how how we are eligible the prabhupad speaking that nishkapat swarup that kind of sevan mukh bhav we are actually growing then automatically our all our sense organs all our sense organs when are becoming sevan mukh in the service of shri hari and guru vishnu bhagwan then only that paratattva himself can uh, manifest uh, uh, himself mercifully on us and it can get uh, uh, can manifest in front of us and whatever kind of bahirmukh bhav is there of our material sense organs it will just get removed all 
and after removing all of them that our sense organs that it will be making our sense organs one quality will be given to us to our sense organs on the transcendental sense organs will get to, in order to serve hari but it doesn't mean that uh, that i'll be cutting it away all the material sense or not like that it's not like that that these uh, sense organs that these sense organs what are there that bhakti devi that by cutting the by the kripa of swarup shakti along with the along with the kripa of swarup shakti when we are getting that all the uh, sense organs they will be just demanding the actual uh, 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 service of shri hari and at that time swarup shakti that will definitely come the one activity of your sense organs it will just get uh, managed by swarup shakti how we can understand that bhakti has come in someone's heart how we can understand what is the actual criteria in the actual point is that in order to understand that that we can see only after that that all the sense organs it is actually just uh, want some greediness to serve bhagwan all the sense organs but for kapat people this kind of uh, relationship external relationship can similarity you can see that uh, that you can just think as like that but the mood of the kapat people that sometimes that kapat people you can see that external mood also but it's not like that internally it's totally opposite swarup shakti inside the heart when it is getting avirbhav inside the heart of other that uh, all kind of sense organs just to serve shri hari that kind of uh, extreme tremendous uh, greediness will come that yesterday just like uh, doing the shravan of uh, hari katha of bhagwan and to do kirtan all the time doing hari kirtan uh, automatically everything everything will be done by the krip of swarup shakti and at that point all these sense organs that kind of running of your mechanism of the sense organs the running mechanism of your sense organs it is actually controlled by bhakti devi swarup shakti and at that time guru vaishnav can understand completely guru vaishnav can completely understand that inside him no kapat bhav is there and now that swarup shakti kripa has already been begotten into it that what is this present material uh, material sense organ you don't need to throw that at all at with the avir bhav of swarup shakti inside your heart that bahirmukh bhav of your sense organs just by serving shri hari slowly steadily bhagwan shri krishna the prabhupad speaking that slowly steadily that bahirmukh bhav will just uh, be gone away and paratatva himself by his mercy can get manifest uh, in front of inside our heart and whatever kind of bahirmukh bhav of our material sense organs it will just get completely destroyed and uh, it will make our uh, sense organs more and more compatible to serve bhagwan if we are actually doing service of paratatva and we are not at all uh, putting any kind of uh, efforts and efforts we are not at all putting to do for paratatva then that the second seva the, there is only two seva only there are only two kinds of seva one is uh, to do paratatva seva and one is maya seva and if someone is speaking that i will not be doing paratatva seva okay you will not do so paratatva seva if you are not at all doing then definitely you will have to do maya seva automatically i will not do at all do anything it is not at all possible maybe you have to do paratatva seva or else you have to serve maya devi in between that definitely you have to do one and if you want to get into impersonal feature of brahman and that kind of you just want to uh, manifest your whole astitva inside that impersonalist impersonalism then that i just want to get into brahma that aham brahmas me like that then that i don't want to do good and bad this which are is totally absurd that is not at all good to think and if we want to if we are actually getting uh, uh, getting all the efforts and we are not at all putting any care and efforts uh, in paratatva seva then the other object maya object that we to get out of the maya object it is not at all possible to get away at all not at all possible you have already understood that shloka na what i have told you 
that Gurudev Atatma, that one shloka is there. I, already, I always used to give the detailed instruction regarding that, that Gurudev is our life and heart and soul. Like this, we just need to serve Gurudev like that. Like this, we have to serve Gurudev. Only then only we can understand what is actual seva. So, by Atma, that uh, to do Paramatma seva is actually possible. Yesterday also I have already told that this uh, destructible body, material, that uh, stool and urine, stool and urine, body and material sense organs, just to do transcendental uh, seva of the transcendental world, to make some kind of vichar, it's not, not written in the Shastras at all. Narottam Das Thakur also not uh, speaking about this at all to us. Narottam Das Thakur also not at all speaking to us like that. That okay, that you do seva like this with your material or sense organs and by your material heart and mind you just do seva of Bhagavan. Not at all possible. This already spoken by Narottam Das Thakur. This with the material, with material bhavna is not at all expressing that at all. Why? Because previously I have already told you it means that what kind of bhavna that is not at all material bhavna at all. This material bhavna if it is there then then in Bhakti Samri Sindhu Shila Rupa Goswami Pada has written that just by the actual consciousness area and limit that kind of uh, bhavna limitation that limit of uh, consciousness of mind that in order to transcend everything you just need to develop one that kind of situation that where hiddi satya jale varo means that only not satya gun inside your heart satya jale means that your satya that is actually contaminated satya gun with material satya that inside your heart it should it will just get illuminated inside your heart in such a condition it will get illuminated and at that point your heart and at that point inside your heart that kind of realization what you are getting that is called rasa that is called rasa and in this material world what rasa is there that rasa is totally absurd that is polluted rasa about this that in order to just uh, speak lot of uh, uh, lot of things lot of uh, bad things have already written uh, in the Shastra prohibitions are written in the Shastras Narottam Das Thakur has written in the Kirtan lot of times in his Kirtan he has already put that that if for the Bhagavad Sevar we are not at all putting any kind of efforts then what will happen that that definitely that other object that is Maya that we cannot get out of that uh, uh, that chakra of Maya at all definitely by the Atma we have to do the service of Paramatma that is the actual goal that can be possible and that uh, the actual point to get the Seva of Shri Hari is to get unconditional surrender onto the and serving mood onto lotus feet of Shri Hari that serving temperament is required. About that, Bhagavan in Gita already has told. That on yourself, if you are putting all your... Uh, all your efforts if you are putting on yourself having full confidence on you that you just need to uh, leave that that is the actual pathway of Sharanagati you have to depend upon Bhagwan. if you are actually having confidence on yourself and up till now that in the whole uh, human history those who have got confidence uh, on them they actually have already got failure in their life who have their self confidence that we have to just depend upon Bhagwan completely that's it on pure Guru Vaishnava and Bhagavan. That in order to do Bhagavad Seva, if in order to do Bhagavad Seva, if we are 
that ether ether work means that the actual maya work we are actually just busy in doing maya work all the day and for we want to do bhagwat seva and that we are actually just uh, leaving that maya seva this kind of uh, uh, distress towards that is uh, not at all good if it is gone it is gone that is good that if you are getting the paratattva seva in this material world just to get the parabhakar of this material world in the actual parabhakar of this material world that uh, if you are not at all doing paratattva seva that in material uh, parabhakar that you are actually doing that then it is so distressful just to do general dharma of this material world that definitely inside the our heart this uh, some vichar can get inside your heart with that but we have already done one mistake that the actual uh, service of the atma is to serve parmatma to serve paratattva ahe to ki apratyata jay atma su prasid paratattva ka nitya seva that to do the nitya seva of the paratattva about that we need to think all the time that about our nitya jeevan the actual nitya life we have to understand so the actual uh, thing of paratattva we just need to make sure with full acharan that with full acharan definitely mangal will come otherwise in this material world we just need to remain there in this material world forever otherwise we need to stay forever in the material world nothing will happen at all in this material world you need to stay that's it shila shila ragunath das goswami pad about that the prabhupad always used to speak again and again under the anugatya of rup ragunath we need to stay in our bhajan life so ragunath das goswami pad in manasiksha that top most aprakrit vishay what he has manifested that he has manifested in this point that it is for our it is for our absolute mangal that's why a big vichar has been put in front of us we just need to make sure we have to move forward and we also by our by the desire of prahlad maharaj under his guidance this shloka i have already just picked up by because this it is already there in manasiksha this also in the category of manasiksha only you know that i have already told you yesterday this is also in manasiksha that you are actually giving instructions to the mind and heart if someone actually is forcefully want to do the seva of devotees and bhagwan okay we will do that like this ego is there then it is not at all possible at all why because this mind and heart this is actually a material mind lot of time i have actually discussed it in front of you this mind this is actually is material this material mind and heart by that guru vishnu bhagwan those who are actually a prakrit that in order to serve them is not at all possible that guru vishnu seva or bhagwan seva is all the same because guru vishnu var and on the transcendental platform and bhagwan is also on transcendental platform in order to serve them it is not at all possible with on material platform at all that guru kram means urujar kram it means that about bhagwan actually it is written uru kram means that is the name of bhagwan prahlad maharaj actually making very is very unhappy in order to instruct us he is becoming very unhappy and distressful up till when you inside you anarth is top uh, topmost then on to the lotus feet of bhagwan it means that on to the lotus feet of pure guru vishnu you cannot touch at all it means then about that that a prakrit vishay he cannot think also of that bye that just to take the dust particle of the mahajans that i am not at all doing my abhishek by the dust particles of the mahajans 
if i am not at all doing abhishek then up till that point this my heart this uh, heart is very much uh, unstable how i can do your bhajan that how i can just uh, stabilize my mind it is not at all uh, understanding my position it's impossible that mind will uh, understand you it is not at all uh, understandable but dignito means to do varan that it is not a normal point at actually to control it this is not a normal point at this point what it is written brinate javat javat tavat means that which tavat actually tavat is used not only but also this actually is connected with it if not then like this in the same way if up till that pure guru vishnu topmost guru vishnu that the uh, lotus particle of the lotus feet when i am not at all doing abhishek i am not at all doing of myself with the dust particle of pure guru vishnu up till that point that my mind and heart material mind and heart it cannot uh, uh, get uh, inside the transcendental issues of uh, bhagwan at all it it cannot uh, our consciousness will not at all go up to the that and uh, by tark if you will go more and more inside that then it will be a more big problem by argumentative and logics then more uh, uh, disadvantage you will get that more arguments you will be making then more disadvantage you will get so that's why no argument is required okay you are not at all understanding it's a different thing that with full sharanagati under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav you just need to with humble mood you just need to appeal to guru vaishnav but that three about three conditions actually it is written in gita it is very much important to discuss that bhagwan actually speaking bhagwan speaking jab when pranipat parivashya seva three conditions pranipat pranipashna seva these three conditions when actually these are getting fulfilled only then tadviddhi tadviddhi just be sure about this pranipadana parivashana sevaya upadikshanti te gyanam this transcendental world that divya gyan that i am already there to give you but you are not at all ready to take that you are not at all ready to take that what to do lot of people to ragunath das goswami pad that very chit by written by ragunath das goswami pad that this transcendental uh, issue they are actually of manasiksha they are ignoring that completely and they are just uh, throwing that away and then they are actually going to the jungle and they are doing naam bhajan with very nice uh, thinking that they are with nice mood they are doing and they want to become a siddh mahatma they are doing that but they are not at all understanding this at all that that in the pathway of that bhajan that what is the actual pran of bhajan what is the actual life of bhajan if someone actually is asking that the life of bhajan is bhagwan only hey yes the actual life of bhajan is bhagwan only yes you are right but this in this condition we are not at all able to understand this condition we haven't gone so how i can speak like that that the actual in this situation condition i haven't gone i have kapat bhav in myself so now that what is our actual condition that narottam das thakur ji speaking that smaran kaise how man bhajan ka pran hai man ki dwara smaran by your heart if you are doing smaran if smarana ka bhakti is not at all there then nothing is there at all so much things you have done so much seva you have done but smaran manan is actually vacant so then you just need to go empty handed that empty handed you just need to go back maybe that shravan kirtan and smaran in all are in one line maybe shravan kirtan and smaran in by this which are already there in bhagavata amrit as well that 8 months back i have already told 
మే బి శ్రవణం కీర్తనమి శ్రవణం కీర్తనం విష్ణు స్మరణం దిస్ యు ఆర్ ఫైండింగ్ ఇట్ సెపరేట్లీ బట్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ మేకింగ్ ఆల్ ద త్రీ విచార్స్ దెన్ హౌ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ ఆన్ ఇన్ వన్ లైన్ లైక్ అవర్ శ్రవణ్ వాయ్ శ్రవణ్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇస్ ఫస్ట్ వాయ్ నాట్ కీర్తన్ ఫస్ట్ వాయ్ శ్రవణ్ ఇస్ ఫస్ట్ దట్ శ్రవణాఖ్య భక్తి ఈజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ ద ఫస్ట్ ప్లేస్ ఈస్ గివన్ టు శ్రవణాఖ్య భక్తి వాయ్ బికాస్ అవర్ దట్ అవర్ దట్ అవర్ శ్రవణ్ వాట్ వీఆర్ లిస్నింగ్ దట్ అవర్ వాట్ వీఆర్ లిస్నింగ్ దట్ అబవ్ శ్రవణ్ ఆన్ శ్రవణ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ డిపెండెంట్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ లాజిక్స్ అండ్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్స్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ రిగార్డింగ్ దిస్ దట్ అపార్ట్ అబవ్ శ్రవణ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ బట్ బీ షూర్ అబౌట్ వన్ పాయింట్ దట్ అబవ్ శ్రవణ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ డిపెండెంట్ ఆన్ శ్రవణ్ బట్ ద టాప్ మోస్ట్ ద టాప్ మోస్ట్ పవర్ఫుల్ ఈజ్ గురు కృప ఇఫ్ వన్ పర్సన్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఈజ్ విత్ ఫుల్ అటెన్షన్ ఈజ్ లిస్నింగ్ బట్ గురు కృప ఈ హెస్ అండ్ గాట్ then he has with the tension he has heard but if don't those who don't have guru kripa then it will just become valueless and tasteless you just understand this point very carefully so if someone is actually putting question that shravan is actually topmost or guru kripa is topmost both of them is actually required by guru kripa only you can do shravan and by shravan only both of them are same but if still some vichar is being made that guru kripa is actually more uh, prominent that preliminary shavan actually is doing that some uh, push is there in his heart and if he is actually making some vichar but is if guru kripa is not at all done then some negation can be there then assimilation is not at all possible after digestion assimilation is there then it is not at all possible without guru kripa so now we will be actually making this vichar that shravan kirtan and smaran how they are independent dependent on each other and shravan akhya bhakti why actually is the first place is given to shravan akhya bhakti okay so this shravan akhya bhakti just by doing shravan because the prabhupa is speaking that bonded jeevas they don't have any kind of other pathway open apart from that no other pathway is open at all only by shravan indriya and uh, others maybe by your eyes you are actually making efforts by your tongue you are making efforts that by your uh, infinity uh, material sense organs you are uh, making efforts you will get uh, successful in that that is a very uh, very nice vichar what bhagwan has made that's why shravan by shravan that shravan uh, sense organ that the first place is given here because at the time of birth also that other sense organs are not at all activated your eyes ears nose skin are not at all active that much that is the actual arrangement of bhagwan only that first actually the shravan indriya is getting active your hearing organ oral reception is getting active that is actual kripa of bhagwan that's why shravan of kya bhakti that shravanam kirtanam by shravan preliminary that bhav is getting manifested inside your heart that adav shraddha is getting activated and just by getting adav shraddha that uh, sadhu sang is also is getting categorized into two types one is sadhu sang is primary sadhu sang what i am actually doing now at present that is primary that is preliminary sadhu sang and after that the other sadhu sang that by that sadhu sang just to take guru charan in order to attain that lotus feet of gurudev that kind of vichar is getting inside your heart so sadhu sang is of two types preliminary sadhu sang is there and after that the other sadhu sang is there that other sadhu sang that will uh, just to take the actual uh, uh, actual uh, sharanagati and lotus feet of uh, 
Sadhguru, that kind of uh, prayer now you are getting inside your heart. After that, you are getting that actual Guru Charanashray you are getting with Nishkapat Bhav. And that full Charanagati is there, perfect Charanagati is there. Then by Bhajana Kriya, all other kind of things can already be successful. That Bhajana Kriya, Bhajana Kriya, slowly, steadily, it will just get converted into Sadhan Bhakti. So this about this Shavan, that for our Shavan, is someone has to do Kirtan for Shravan. You understand the point? Okay, I have to do Shravan. But uh, for Shravan, definitely I have to de- get dependent on someone. No? If someone speaking that I will be doing Shravan. So Shravan, that what is there, that on, it is actually related with Kirtan Akhya Bhakti. If nobody is doing Kirtan, then what kind of Shravan I can do? You tell me. And someone actually is doing kirtan and his uh, consciousness is getting diluted so he can be able to do kirtan you tell me he can't do kirtan at all no not at all possible why because with kirtan smaran is actually connected why because without any link how you can speak you okay how you can speak harikatha nothing is there in your smaran no in your consciousness so how how you can speak you tell me so kirtan akya bhakti with that with Kirtana Kya Bhakti, Smarana Kya Bhakti is coming, that link is there. And after Smaran, that those who are doing Kirtan, for that Smaran is very much necessary and essential, some link is there. And those who are doing Shravan from someone and they are not at all doing Smaran, then also there is a problem. You understand the point? Like Dundukari, the case, the case of Dundukari, if you are actually discussing, we can take into consideration now that Dundukari, he has that demand now. He wants to be delivered at present. Why? Because Gokaranji Maharaj is there. He actually requested Gokaranji Maharaj. Dundukari requesting Gokaran Maharaj, no? Just paying on to his lotus that you just uh, save me. And after that it is so spoken, Go- Gokaranji become very much astonished that I have given Pindadan on to your name in Gaya. And after that lot of which are actually is coming from, I don't want to speak that much detail. Like this which are actually is coming. Dundukari's demand is there. That in your life, that you have that demand of Bhagavad Prapti, definitely you will also get that the actual kind of uh, distress what Dundukari is getting is so much out of her range. So much uh, uh, distress he has got in his life. That how that kind of distressful condition is produced, I can't even speak that. So much distress he's got. That from burning coal just inside his mouth it is actually get, that burning coal is getting all those prostitutes they have just killed him so much distress was given to Dundukari and uh, he was getting tortured by those pros and now just by the association of Gokaranji Maharaj that Bhagavad Katha Hari Katha he wants to hear from the lotus mouth of Gokaran Dundukari has that brain he has that demand you don't have demand that you do bhajan now because your demand is not at all there what to do you do your own bhajan, what you can what you can do, what you can speak. That's why in the last, when Dhandu, Dhundukari, that one, uh, one viman has came from Vaikuntha, that go, then Gokaranji Maharaj actually just questioned that, for what purpose, that all, that so much pe- these all people also are doing shravan what they are sitting for them they are not at all taking viman and for only dundukari you are taking why only one viman you have taken why everyone is actually doing shravan no shravan they have done definitely but they haven't done manan at all manan means that smaran they are not doing so uh, definitely i proved it now that Shravan, Kirtan and Smaran, they are all interrelated to each other. That's why that in Manasiksha, this Vishay, in order to understand it is very much important to understand it. 
it is very much important to understand here that our narottam das thakur he also has uh, told lot of things in the kirtan also regarding this he has also just um, manifested that in his kirtan all these points it means that shraman kirtan kirtan is pradhan that bhajan the actual limb of bhajan that the actual uh, purport is uh, smaran i have done bhajan for my whole life if i want to speak to the persons that i have done bhajan for whole life okay you have done bhajan so what the result you will get out of that you tell me that you have done bhajan what bhajan you have done you tell me that bhajan that bhagavad smriti is the last thing the whole life you have done bhajan but smriti smaran is not at all there it means no bhajan is done at all that bhagwan already speaking that uh, our my shravan kirtan and smaran it is actually connected with that if smaran is not at all there it is absence of smaran no smaran is there then everything is useless what you have heard and what you have done and if with bhajan that smaran is actually going on that shravan kirtan with that smaran is also going then everything is done otherwise everything is useless everything is useless in gita also bhagwan also speaking this point there in gita also bhagwan speaking that you see jang jang bau ki smaran bhavam tajati ant kalevaram ye batane this actually told by bhagwan jo jo bhav that with what what kind of bhav that person is actually with that bhav and at last he is uh, leaving his body with that consciousness developed that with that just by that consciousness which is developed that same uni he has to get transferred into that that uh, i am thinking of something else and the bhagwan will get we will get bhagwan it's not at all possible so that's why in gajendra moksha bhagwan actually giving full blessing to gajendra and speaking and uh, pralad maharaj also nirsinga dev is get, doing a uh, blessing pralad maharaj also he has uh, pra- nirsinga dev actually praying pralad maharaj and blessing him and gajendra also actually getting the full blessing bhagwan actually speaking to him what he is speaking bhagwan speaking that you see that nirsinga dev speaking to pralad maharaj that yours and mine in this kind of those who will be just uh, just doing the remembrance of uh, the discussion between you and me then he will just be getting away from the material bondage that pramuchate he will be getting totally free from this material bondage and material karma and here gajendra ji also bhagwan speaking shri hari speaking those persons in the early morning oh top most early morning prate kalam is not 8 o'clock not 7 o'clock it's all foolishness <laughs> that bhajan actually is done at 2:30 to 3 o'clock from 7:00 between under 7 o'clock very nice time it is to do bhajan that uh, our guru varg also used to speak this that you see that uh, with new new market is actually going to start at that time if you are going that very fresh vegetables you will get and after where some after you are going after 12 o'clock everything useless you will get so that is the actual point which we need to understand that to do bhajan early morning very early in the morning is very good not that will be doing afterwards not that definitely you have to do in early morning though what you are doing in early morning that it cannot be possible in evening time this is one kind of rules of time that in the 11th canto according to this wish i have already told bhagwan speaking that the seva of time that is actually big factor to do time seva of time means that uh, early in the morning those at the time before sunrise at that time you are actually use, using that time for service of bhagwan you, then only it is possible tri sandhya is very much important tri sandhya tri sandhya tri tri sandhya sandhya means that when the night is actually getting over the morning is getting going to start that kind of time when it is touching and in the afternoon also 
that uh, when the morning time is going to down and the afternoon is going to start and that uh, kind that is one junction that junction time you just need to do the mantra specific mantra this junction point is very much powerful it's all written in the shastras and when the uh, sun is getting going to set that uh, that the godhuli time that kind of time is very much auspicious but still if you are making this vichar that at the time of arunodaya that is the topmost at the time of before sunrise no time is actually getting comparable with the arunodaya with the sun sun uh, before sunrise that is the topmost time topmost auspicious time so bhagwan shri hari bhagwan shri hari he is actually speaking to gajendra that go gajendra that this arunodaya time at that time when uh, in the morning then at when you are uh, opening your eyes then those who will be just uh, uh, thinking of you and me points regarding that gajendra moksha they will be discussing that i will be providing the bimal bhakti yog i will be giving the bimal buddhi yog i will be giving when at the time of leaving his body when at the time of leaving his body i will be giving him the bimal buddhi and a whole life i am actually have this, uh, just uh, get contaminated by material things and at last time let us just uh, uh, get uh, our consciousness related to hari it's not at all possible like this at all at the time of uh, da- death only i will do like that not at all possible it is not at all possible at all so this vichar what it is there that shravan kirtan the two major uh, limbs of a uh, bhajan that uh, in our life lot of bhajan we have done but no smaran i have done at all no smaran i have done at all then what's the use you tell me if no smaran is there then nothing is there at all if no smaran is there then nothing is there at all nothing is there why because hamara because of shravan kirtan etc whatever bhajan ang are there that in our life that smaran in the form of smaran actually it is actually getting linked with that paratatva it is getting linked if it is not at all there then all my efforts are all absurd and it will go in vain so it is very much important and necessary smaran smaran in the form of smaran only it will be there that i have already told a lot of time before maybe one year back about this that priti and spriti these are all connected to each other this be careful about this point priti and smriti where priti is there smriti definitely will be definitely there naturally that we in this material world we are actually discussing but still if this uh, we are taking the material example of this material world if we are taking the example of this material world there also you can see that if priti is there and smriti will also be there automatically that mother actually thinking of his child that priti is there regarding his children then smriti definitely will be there and smriti when it will be there then our next follow up what to do that if i don't have any smriti no consciousness is there then how i can uh, select my duties that what to do and what to do how we can think of that if so it is not at all possible like that how i can think of like that if smriti is there and that smriti is of two types one is uh, that smriti of with the enemies and another smriti is that sai kind of lovable smriti with someone with the enemy what kind of smriti we are having that is negative smriti about this i don't want to speak at all but definitely it is useful as well if you are thinking that uh, that's why i have actually discussed uh, the categorized because priti and smriti is uh, correlated to each other but it doesn't mean that you have kansa smriti or you have smriti of shishupal or that smriti of jarasandhi or i am not speaking like that that smriti of ravan is there because this kind of smriti of these asuras it's actually topmost but in a negative way it is topmost narad ji already himself speaking this point that you see narad ji speaking that 
that guy with full enmity mood that with full enmity mood you are making smriti with the enmity boo when someone is actually thinking then definitely you will be having more and more uh, that effort will be there and that with anukul bhav if you are thinking of something then there will be less effect in that rather than with enmity bhav enmity bhav have more effect that's why bhagwan with his own wish and will they actually given instruction to jay vijay that with anukul bhav if you want to come to me then it will take time that definitely is vaikunth parshad but still but with pratikul bhav if you will come that is also one kind of drama no pratikul bhav is there in jay and vijay at all and you will be speaking that they have pratikul bhav how they have gone to bhagwan you haven't understand that pratikul bhav it is just one kind of drama what jay and vijay is showing to them to bhagwan this is all actually uh, artificial that with pratikul bhav is they are going to bhagwan there is no uh, proof of that at all that bhagwan by his own wish and will he is speaking that with pratikul bhav that kind of attention or effect you are getting that on the any on that pratipaksha that kind of topmost uh, attraction you cannot get in anukul bhav at all and after all narad ji maharaj this already has spoken that in the third canto openly he has spoken that you see narad ji maharaj actually speaking any how in any condition that bhagwan you just need to get your heart attracted towards bhagwan that is actually very much useful when you are doing that it doesn't mean that i am with pratikul bhav i'll be dis- just remembering bhagwan it's not like that it means that narad maharaj actually narad ji maharaj maharaj speaking that with positive or negative smriti by that remembrance of bhagwan that asuras what kind of uh, uh, advantage they are getting that all those asuras you see no brahma sayuj hota hai brahma sayuj is there sandarbh mein in the sandarbh also ko swami pad ji has written roop ko swami pad in sandarbh bhi has written narad ji actually wants to speak in general narad ji ka narad ji ye jo kehna hai that he wants to speak actually it is in general what he wants to speak he is speaking any how in any condition when our heart is getting on to the lotus feet of krishna any how by doing that we will be getting the topmost uh, advantage in our life Bhag- just to get our heart on the lotus feet of bhagwan we just need to make sure but with positive bhav if we are making that attention will be less if we are doing on to bhagwan with enmity mood that he can't even forget that attention will be more in that he has done this like that i will see that like this mood will be there i also do that this kind of mood this kind of bhav it is not at all be going be got away at all this will not at all go away this already have been told now shravan kirtan jodi agast maran shravan kirtan and smaran if you are actually not then if someone is doing without that then it is uh, lifeless it is fruitless if he is doing shravan kirtan uh, without any uh, target he is not at all paying any attention in sadhan bhakti also that in bhakti sandarbh also it is written that what jeev go swami pad has written namo smaranam tu shudhyant 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 kalpam shudhyant kalpam namo smaranam tu shudhyant shudhyant karanatam apikshati bolo follow this is very important that in the in manasiksha in context to so that shila ragunath das goswami has so much mercy on us that who is actually making that for all the bonded jeevas they cannot do bhajan at all they don't have this kind of uh, eligibility to do and if they have come into bhajan also that definitely has some kapat bhav if they are having no nishkapat bhav is there so that's why in mana shiksha everything uh, in the bhajan how to do and what all procedure you need to follow everything uh, uh, everything uh, is there all spices and masala is there in the bhajan what it is it's already there filled up there the shlok which i have already to- told sujane bhu surgane 
समंत्री श्री नामनी ब्रजनव जीव दंदु सरणे सदा दम्भ्यम हित्वा कुरु रतिम अपूर्वम अतितरा मई शांतुर हाथ चटवी रवि जाचे धृत पद just be careful one uh, each and every word you have to make vichar and then you have to go forward the first thing is that each and every word what is the actual meaning we just need to understand here guru are a guru by speaking that a lot of guru are there in the market lot of gurus are there in the market so for each and every one it is not at all uh, eligible that this is only for in gaudiya bhajan that external that uh, all the persons in of manasiksha of those uh, bonded jeevas that they are all useless that they are doing a shakti aradhana this that everything they are doing they are also thinking that they are guru for that those gurus it is what what they will do this manasiksha they can't do anything in that they don't have any connection with manasiksha that tantric so all these kind of gurus they don't have any kind of relationship with manasiksha they don't require manasiksha at all they are actually speaking all opposite they are speaking that vaishnavas are very much weak and uh, x and y mission they are the one person came and he is speaking <laughs> he is foolish number 1 his name is chakravarti and he is coming there and just for motor work he came to the goshala and they are actually speaking that he is speaking uh, by his own words he is speaking foolish number 1 <laughs> he is speaking maharaj that it's already written in gita you see if you are not at all taking all this that how that uh, strength will come in your body <laughs> the x and y mission they are actually speaking that's why our all swami ji is they are actually taking this food flesh and all all they are taking it i have already seen all fish blood everything they have taken flesh it's already written you are not all careful yes <laughs> i have not taken any careful consideration i was actually started smiling at him is so foolish number 1 it means that this all in order to increase strength is very much important so that's why all this fish onion <laughs> just try to eat this all what to do just go on eating this fish St- and uh, onion he just take that so this is the actual which are their swami ji also at last also he is taking everything flesh fish everything and he is eating everything and his whole name is actually getting spreaded in the whole material world our prabhupad name hasn't uh, got spreaded so much it is just the actual uh, consideration of maya devi who will who is actually doing of maya devi his uh, his name is actually spreaded more and more uh, rapidly in this whole material world that i have already seen one person in vrindavan lot of person actually speaking that you should hear his hari katha are so after that they have shown his introduction and i have shown that he is so much foolish what is foolish actually <laughs> he what is speaking he is actually foolish number 1 he is actually doing the uh, puja and worship of x mission and y mission that's why his name is actually getting spread all over the world so if he is actually speaking about vishuddha hari bhajan even not even one person will not at all hear that that shame keshav goswami are also speaking when a preaching party when they came back keshav goswami maharaj one time actually asking that in veranda he was doing his uh, he was uh, just doing sitting there doing some seva and there actually saw some all maharaj came from and brahmachari coming from preaching and they are paying dand word and and from where you came keshav goswami maharaj actually we came from pre- preaching are maharaj preaching topmost preaching we have done maharaj are means that they are again calling us that when you will come again to us then everyone is calling us then maybe tomorrow day after tomorrow they are actually calling from here they are everywhere they are giving us uh, offers keshav goswami is speaking that your uh, preaching is not done perfectly then he is speaking that uh, no maharaj our preaching is done very nice so that's why keshav goswami is speaking your preaching is not at actual preaching why maharaj that if actual preaching you will speak actual prabhupad uh, vichar with nishkapat roop that topmost uh, that absolute truth in front of all those people that not even a single person will ask you to come that even one or two persons can call you okay may they can call you otherwise this this is the actual rules that absolute truth uh, 
that uh, persons are very rare it is that those who want to hear that absolute truth they are very very rare in this material world that the persons who want to hear that absolute truth is very very rare to hear you cannot find any kind of uh, bhagavad bhakta at all who can hear and uh, those who are speaking and those who are taking this it is are more and more rare those who are speaking it is rare and those who are taking it is more and more rare so guru and gurute means and guru this seventh case ending it is written that the seventh case ending is actually used here guru 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 me and ghoshthe guru me ghoshthe ghoshthe means ghoshthe you understand that this ghoshthe it means prajadham so by this Oh, this actually is clear that our that they are my merciful Raghunath Das Goswami Pad that that he is talking about our Rag Mark Bhajan and he is actually making sure that you have to follow that pathway of Raghu Mark Rag Mark that Vidhi Mark is also that Manasiksha is very important that I can uh, allow but with because without Manasiksha nothing can be done at all that up till now. that tantrik naga sampradha all they are their heart they don't have any controlling of their heart and mind at all you tell me the tantrik x mission y mission if someone speaking yes maharaj they are having how it is possible you tell me practically they are eating fish flesh blood and all they are doing vyabichar how it is possible to control your mind and heart you tell me they are speaking that it is done you just show me practical because in the shastras actually it is written If your food is not pure, then how your mind and intelligence can get pure? You tell me. He is actually forcefully speaking that our Swami ji, one time he went to foreign country, and he is actually taking one book. He is not at all he reading any book also, and uh, and uh, just by seeing it, he is actually giving the book back. So it's the case. You see, it's actually very surprising to see all this kind of rubbishness and foolishness going on. So that the actual purity of your mind. it's already written in geeta also in everywhere that this is a very normal not not a normal thing maybe externally you can see it is normal but that is a very 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 difficult to uh, very very difficult to uh, get applied so it, externally you can find it's very easy that all our sahajiyas in our gaudi sampradha also or maybe outside uh, sahajiyas outside gaudi amat that you can ask them that you have your controlling over your mind have you uh, already re- uh, read man shiksha have you heard uh, man shiksha from the lotus mouth of uh, guru vishnu they are speaking are a uh, very normal thing it is they are speaking like this are uh, it's very normal preliminary i have already seen clipping also of i have one clipping i with me and here actually he is speaking that you whatever you can do no problem that you just uh, do ras panchadhyay and uh, you read raj pansand there and go just go on like that no worry every anarth will go off there is one clipping you can do anything and you just go on reading raj panchad there like this he is speaking and automatically everything will be done see so where actually it is written you tell me which the, his gurudev has told us that our prabhupad has told or my gurudev has told this but from where this point they have got but still that uh, that kind of uh, uh that kind of uh, uh, drunkenness of the all the persons that kind of uh, that drunkenness what is there of one sampraday everyone is getting and this drunkenness bhav you cannot get out out of all the persons maybe that that some param guru dev is speaking that param param guru dev is speaking nobody has spoken like that but he is speaking on his own like this it is just more and more uh, dangerous than the uh, drunkenness bhav created by wine and wine but this kind of drunkenness bhav is not at all going away at all this is very much dangerous such so much proof and i have given only and only they are putting more and more arguments no kind of solution is coming at all the condition is like this that there is no kind of uh, solution at all just and just uh, fighting in fighting that's it just by Uh, logics and arguments it will get more and more elevated i don't have any time to do logics and arguments with anyone asrutayo vivinna nasho munirjasso matam navinyam 
धर्म सत्य नहीं तो गुहायम महायनो ये नो महायनो ये नो गतो सफल तो के द्वारा बाय लॉजिक्स एंड आर्गुमेंट्स बाय लॉजिक्स एंड आर्गुमेंट्स इट्स इन विधान सूत्र वन सूत्र इज देयर पर का प्रतिष्ठानात वन सूत्र इज देयर इन विधान सूत्र सो लाइक दिस इज द कंडीशन नाउ व्हाट टू डू सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट बिफोर दैट दैट अबाउट गुरु इट इज एक्चुअली रिटन द एलिजिबिलिटी सो दिस नागा संप्रदाय आई एम नॉट एट ऑल स्पीकिंग एनी रॉन्ग अबाउट एनीवन बट आई एम स्पीकिंग एब्सोल्यूट व्हाट दे आर डूइंग that tantric sampradaya also that they are actually doing virachar that naga sampradaya definitely something is there everything is there in that vyavichar is there nirachar is there one one that there is very very vyavastha one kind of condition is there they they have just applied in their life in that what they are doing nirachar that especially this tantric they are taking wine five kind of mo more you know ko ko go ba like the this five more like this is it's in hindi ko ko go ba more like this five kind five kinds of more that five more madda mans flesh madda wine mechle means everything more this five more they are taking this panch more five kinds of more methun illegal elite sex all everything very very dangerous it is madav dabra this all different different kind of things they are taking madda mansa matsa everything everything they are taking that panch mo it is there mo in english is m and they are actually doing all kind of uh, uh, durachar and so much strength also they are increasing that even asur will get failed in front of them that they are actually speaking that they are speaking that they are actually that is actual practice for them they are not i can't speak bhajan bhajan is actually seva this is the actual uh, kind of uh, very dangerous and rubbish uh, practice is there and ghoshte ghoshte when it is spoken we can just clearly see that ragunath das ko swami pad particularly want to mean about those who are interested about special bhajan rag bhajan definitely there is definitely controlling of your heart but ghoshte when actually actually it is spoken what ragunath das ko swami pad has done his own bhajan he has actually just in that uh, vishay he is actually pointing us and just want to give us some detailed description about that so guru ghoshte you understand the point this uh, this which are which i am speaking guru 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 means that in guru and what does it mean that diksha guru and shiksha guru that is actually sat guru that they are also sat guru that your mind and your heart that mind and heart that uh, that uh, you just need to catch hold of your the feet of uh, your heart and mind that uh, i am just taking your uh, yeah, oh, oh brutal heart i am just taking your uh, feet i am just catching up your feet and speaking i am also ready to take up your feet you of your this brutal heart and mind so you see that this ragunath das ko swami pad in his life this is a very some some vichar if you are actually taking up then actually you can see it so much uh, topmost that in his uh, house that millions and millions of rupees of property is there that about that it's already spoken that uh, their their vaibhav is just equivalent to indra of heaven so much ashwarya so much opulence is there that uh, only and only one son is there that is ragunath das goswami pad and and uh, the her wife that at that those days only in 8 to 10 years of age one the person is getting getting married up that there is actually one kind of uh, vidhan that kind of uh, practice was there usually 8 to 10 years the male or female child used to get married 
and their father grandfather their grand grandfather in 8 to 10 years or in 12 years everyone used to get married but when they haven't understand what actually is marriage in that that someone actually speaking that marriage it is actually useful but that there is uh, less attraction in that that automatically when he seeing it before that that is actually darshan vichar about this i don't want to speak anything because it is not at all good to speak because on this point someone speaking that it is good your attraction comes less and your uh, material bondage will get uh, less and less <laughs> so diksha guru and siksha guru and your i am taking catching hold of the heart brutal heart and raghunath das goswami pa speaking that uh, i am actually just praying on to your lotus feet i am actually praying that oh brutal heart oh mind you maybe this heart there is no body of this heart there's a heart is heart is definitely there but uh, there is actually not any swarup he is just actually imagining one swarup of uh, heart when this heart when that prem that that is actually the actual magic of prema that whether actually it is material prema and a prakrit prema has more and more magic in material prema also this kind of magic is there that in material prema when all the love and the lover that so much prem is there material prema that even the inert object external object that you can see the clouds that uh, he is actually seeing that some kind of uh, life is there in the clouds that by the poet kalidas that mega dhutam that kumar sambhavam in that also it is written regarding this that that in that the cloud actually is one kind of messenger he is is making and uh, it means that it is called love of passion it is just love of passion in that in that the condition is like that that by just some inert object also if you are seeing it looks like that it has having some life in that that in an object is actually material no life is there but he used you just started speaking with that inert object so this is the condition of this material world so this heart also there is one swarup of your heart also one in personified form ragunath das goswami pad is actually has so much prem on to the bhagavat charan that even slight of hari bhajan even hari bhajan should not go away he is becoming very much careful and conscious in this condition that's why he is speaking like that here actually he is speaking that you that i am taking your lotus feet lotus feet and i am actually praying on your lotus feet that you that shri guru shri braj dham shri braj vasigan that sujan all eternal parshad the samantra shri hari naam and shri braj danduka sarnapatti to get the sarnapanti sarnapati sarnagati on to lotus feet of uh, braj braj vadhus and braj gan that you will you should not become krippan at all means that kind of false ego which is there inside your heart everything you need to destroy and you just need to take uh, to take to take the shelter of that param tattva object you have to uh, get successful in your sharnapati sharnapati means sharnagati first you need to get siddhi in sharnagati sharnapati that is very much important first that diksha guru siksha guru about that it actually is spoken and there is another guru that is called padma pradaksha guru who is actually just giving me one kind of indication of the preliminary pathway he is giving me pad pradaksha guru pad pradaksha guru and diksha he is giving me the in my life that by the krip of bhagwan that same guru one guru has given me everything he is my diksha guru siksha guru every pathway he has shown me and maybe from the previous life something was there in my life that so much uh, uh, nervousness was there inside me and because of that i am actually just uh, seeing gurudev and just by the kripa of bhagwan i got that so padma pradaksha guru is there then diksha guru is there and after that 
नाउ वेज इट्स लाइक दैट दैट पद्म प्रदक्ष गुरु दैट दैट हरि नाम ग्रहण गुरु दैन दीक्षा गुरु सन्यास गुरु लॉस लॉट ऑफ लॉर्ड्स ऑफ गुरु आर देयर शिक्षा गुरु लॉर्ड्स ऑफ गुरु आर देयर एंड दिस शिक्षा गुरु ऑल्सो अबाउट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू स्पीक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू स्पीक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट द शिक्षा गुरु which shiksha guru we have to accept lot of questions have come and previously also has come and which shiksha guru we can accept shiksha guru you can accept that those that who is actually taking in the seva of our sadguru that who is making us anukul for the sadguru seva it means that who is not at all making any kind of uh, barrier in the seva of my sadguru first of all you must be fixed and firm that your gurudev is sadguru otherwise by this formula by this formula you will be applying in the other direction that one person has came to me uh, a few days back he actually i am ask you asking from where you have done which who has given you the address maharaj nobody has given me the address that i am just sharing your hari katha on the net and some no address is there i was just uh, finding and uh, immediately at one place i have at goshala i have at i have got the phone number of your devotee and i just uh, called him by that and uh, and uh, his gurudev also his gurudev he is about that that definitely you need to make some kind of vichar because every shiksha guru that which is shiksha guru that just by accepting shiksha guru there is only one pathway that is that is the only pathway whether he is in our line of diksha guru or not that whether he has shraddha on our diksha guru or not if yaar if your diksha guru actually is fallen that uh, there is no kind of question coming then if some question at all is applicable where where that there is that actual prasang of sadguru is going on where sadguru's uh, prasang is going on there if if sadguru of any sampraday if he is making this kind of uh, vichar then same problem will definitely come because if you are getting sadguru like from ramanuj sampraday you are getting sadguru and we have to do godiya bhajan then definitely there is no problem but still it is a problem why because that by his association that your godiya bhajan that kind of nutrition you will not at all get you can give take some shiksha from him from instructions you can take regarding bhajan but uh, uh, where actually that sampradayik bhajan that kind of uh, nourishment is there of your sampradayik bhajan it is not at all valuable for you that's why shri larup goswami pad has written regarding this सजाती यू नो that uh, that ramanuj sampraday is not at all sajati for you sajati means that uh, godya sam you are from godya sampraday okay that sadhu darshan is all the time uh, uh, pure but still up till that uh, the question of association is coming up till the uh, prasang of association is coming then this kind of vichar is very much important to do very very important to do this kind of vichar otherwise sajati that uh, in our, in your own sampraday only that kind of snigdh snigdh means that no kind of uh, kamna vasna is there no kama is there who has got full guru kripa like this kind of sadhu if you are doing uh, the s- association then definitely for you mangal you will get the top most mangal you will be getting more mangal if, if of your own sampraday you will get to know about your uh, importance of your own sampraday then you can go ahead in your bhajan so that those that guru 
हु इज माई दीक्षा गुरु इफ ही इज एक्चुअली सत गुरु इफ माई दैट आई हैव टेकन गुरु दैट हिज करेक्टर इज नॉट गुड हिज करेक्टर लेस ही हैव लॉट ऑफ प्रूफ आर देयर एंड डेफिनेटली इट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट टू गेट रेड ऑफ हिम टू लीव हिम इट्स मोर बेटर If you will leave him, then from where you will go? Then definitely after leaving, then you have to take the sh- take take shelter of Siksha Guru, who is Sat Guru. Then everything you just need to surrender onto his lotus feet. That who is fallen Guru, who is already fallen Guru, then to just give him Vyasa is not at all good. In in order to give him Bhagwat Singh Hasan also is not at all good. Just by giving him the seed, then all amangal will be done. his character is not at gold everything is loose there is all kind of uh, reasons are there regarding this proofs are there so that is the actual vidhan of shastra you just need to reject that all those who have done lot of vaishnava praya they have done different different kind of aparads in their life and different different kind of anyaya and all rubbish things they have done definitely you have to throw him away and you have to take shelter of a sadguru genuine sadguru do you have to take the shelter of sadguru that is the actual vichar of the shastras otherwise you will be speaking that i have all taken shelter of guru charan 25 30 years back 40 years back but what I have done in your life by taking shelter of that guru that nothing will be done in your life no by taking his shelter nothing will be done at all so in the vishay of guru this kind of all vichar what i have discussed is very much important that anna you those who are speaking that they are doing vaishnava pride they are speaking apasiddhant all actually is uh, opposite they are doing and that that definitely you need to get rid of him and you have to take the shelter of a new sadguru if you are not at all getting then it's okay then on to the siksha guru you just pray that you will come in bhagwat parampara guru parampara is not at all there that is breakage of guru parampara is there okay no problem you can come in bhagwat parampara that you can just connect in that line that connection definitely you will get in the bhagwat parampara so this all shri guru charan what is agunath das ko swami pad actually speaking this definitely sadguru that sadguru and ragunath das ko swami pad he is just uh, taking up the name of brajadham he is taking already he has spoken no that's why here there is one very important point that a ghost that means that about brajadham that from where the prasang of brajadham has come because ragunath das ko wants the all braj rasik all braj ras he wants so on to the lotus feet of that gurudev if you will take shelter if uh, that manasiksha prasang with actually you will want to understand then you can make this vichar that our gurudev that he is actually braj rasik he should be a braj rasik devotee braj rasik he should be a braj rasik devotee our gurudev that's why diksha guru siksha guru padma pradarshak guru who so ever is all these on to the lotus feet of that guru that with ananya priti and tokmo sharnagati you have to take shelter and that rati vidhan is definitely important why because if it is actually reduced your sharnapati then your target will not at all remain fixed at all that in order to get it more and more uh, open openly we will discuss it next week if that your your gurudev and your uh, that priti relationship is not at all getting deeper then what will happen then it is very difficult that it's very very difficult that to do the bhajan from the starting till the end not you can spell in the nitya jagat also transcendental world also the bhajan will be same the same vichar will go on continuously that guru and disciple that kind of relationship is very very deep so much deep that prem priti sambandh should be there maybe that in vidhi mark is it is also applicable in vidhi mark also but about braj dham what i am speaking that my our good my gurudev also he is a braj rasik devotee just by thinking like that only it is possible bhagwat me 
in Bhagavad Ji, in Upanishad also. By this shlok, what you can understand? There is only one proof. This proof only is there. Yatha Deva Tatha Guru. Like the disciple, that is like Guru. It means that onto that Bhagavad Charan, that same Guru Charan is like that. Lotus feet of Bhagavad Charan, lotus feet of Guru Dev. It's all the same. It's all the same. Identical with each other. You understand the point? So, with my relationship with Guru Dev, that kind of prasang is coming. That kind of actual relationship of Preeti, that Madhur Sambandh, it is their relationship or not. But if some doubt is there about your Guru Dev, slowly, steadily, what you have to do? That should get cleared. So, this kind of uh, thing is very much important, what I am speaking. This, what I am speaking, is very much important. That who have Bhagavad Charan and Guru Charan, topmost Ananya Bhakti is there for them, in front of them only. That uh, the actual instructions of the Shastras, the actual instruction of the Shastras, what is there, that that actual instruction can uh, get still inside his heart. It means that in front of them, if you will do give them Shastra Pravachan, then they can understand the actual meaning of the Shastras. That they can understand the actual meaning of the Shastras. That's why Srinivas Acharya Ji also, that Srinivas Acharya Ji also has written regarding this in context to this. Sri Acharya Ji, Srinivas Acharya Ji has written in context to that, that on to lotus feet of Gurudev, that tremendous bhakti is there or not. That unending, uh, if I am speaking, that is more good here. That terminology is more good to apply. That unending bhakti should be there. It's very, very important to get that unend- unending bhakti. That's why Sri Nivas Acharya Ji, that's why Sri Nivas Acharya Ji uh, is actually speaking and writing what actually written here that topmost tremendous prema on to lotus feet of Gurudev if not at all there with them with Gurudev with that uh, top tremendous attachment is not at all there with Gurudev then about that it is written that on to the lotus feet of Gurudev, that tremendous uh, prema, who is not at all having, that his heart and soul is not at all surrendered onto his lotus feet of Gurudev. Because of that, because of that, that for him there is a, it will become very much heavy for them what will become heavy that that whatever kind of uh, shastra part pravachan whatever you are listening from the mouth so what will happen in that Whatever kind of Shastra he is hearing, Pravachan he is hearing, whatever he is doing. That on to lotus feet of Krishna, to get Bhakti is not at all possible at all. That on to lotus feet of Bhagwan, he will not at all get Bhakti at all. It's impossible to get that. About this, the whole scenario and conception is already given in Shriman Siksha by Raghunath Dasko Swami Path in the starting also that Gandhar on the lotus feet of Gurudev, what kind of nishta you need and and if Gurudev he is, is not at all Brajrasik devotee then uh, second word that Goshte then definitely it will become useless. So Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, he wants to speak here that Braj Rasik, that Guru is Braj Rasik, if the disciple is also Braj Rasik, then both of them is very much important. Why? Because in Manasiksha, if this 
if in uh, the pathway of rag mark that if sorry in in the vidhi mark that ghost ghosthalay this all prasang will not at all come in vidhi mark at all that on to the lotus feet of sadguru that brajrasik on to the lotus feet of brajrasik guru charan and ghoshte and ghoshte means that brajbhumi that brajbhumi shri dham bhumi श्री ब्रज धाम श्री गुरु श्री ब्रजवासी घन एंड एंड सुजन वॉट इज दैट एंड वॉट इज भूसुर गन वॉट इज समंत वॉट इज श्री हरिनाम एंड श्री श्री ब्रज ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री नाम एवरी थिंग ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ दैट इट लुक्स ऑल डिफरेंट ऑल टूगेदर मे बी इट लुक्स ऑल डिफरेंट that whatever i am by actually speaking it's all different it is all the same definitely it is all the same but it looks all different those all those braj rasik that all guru and sat guru that uh, this braj dham is there that all those braj vasis also are. and it doesn't mean that those who are actually staying in braj, braj is they are actually braj vasis no the actual meaning of braj vasi what prabhupad speaking that what bhakti no thakur is braj vasi prabhupad is braj vasi bhakti sudan sarasvai thakur ainavar guru varg lot of ban maharaj is braj vasi so braj vasi gan on to their lotus feet what is the sujan that what is bhu surgan what is samant what is shri hari naam and what is and braj yuvagand on to their lotus feet that sharanapati externally different different it uh, these different different terms we can look but it's not like that at all external vichar if you are making that it, it looks like different but the tattva is the one and the same tattva is one and the same externally you can see it's different like uh, it is not different for one that which, which is guru that is hari and which is hari that is guru that is which is guru that is hari jo mantra that mantra that is guru that guru that that is mantra that mantra what you have got from gurudev that is not different from gurudev that it is not at all philosophy try philosophy this is actual this is actuality this is actual vichar you just need to make sure that which is mantra that is guru and what is hari that is actually guru and the second shlok is also there that for just by giving them happiness by everything you can get and by just get there by his unhappiness you will not at all get anything that what vishwana chakravarti path has given in guru dev ashtakam jasho prasadat bhagavat prasadu jasho aprasadat nagudukudu bi thanks to vam satsu yasasya sandhya bande guru ji charanagadi to phir so then jo guru that guru dev that guru who don't have any stability at all who is unstable that guru who is no nishta in any sampradha uh, of his own sampradha those his own gurudev also no uh, kind of confidence on his own gurudev also that about him this is not applicable for them at all so shri guru this kind of uh, sikha guru from where that mantra have taken that inside them what kind of power 
that is there in the disciple so that disciple who is actually lacking him he can get transformed if he is not at all getting changed then definitely some problem is there whether some uh, deficiency is there in gurudev or whether the disciple has deficiency definitely so diksha guru shiksha guru and that on to lotus feet of gurudev what kind of rati we required that our shrinivas acharya has already told that in the life that topmost tremendous bhakti is there on to the gurudev that there of uh, those who don't have any kind of bhakti tip tremendous bhakti on to lotus feet of gurudev they don't have any value at all those who don't have tremendous prema nothing they have sharnagati on to lotus feet of shri gurudev then their life is valueless and useless this whatever shruti smriti whatever they can uh, read and write whatever they want to do but at last everything is useless for them at last nothing will be done at all that's why balwan adaru yo shuna sad guru param bhaje sutai ro pe tasya sasastre krishna bhakti jitna bhi sasastre whatever shat shastri you are hearing and writing that to get to bhakti onto lotus feet of krishna lotus feet is not at all possible and jo sad guru that sad guru who is giving me mantra that sad guru who is giving me mantra who already given me mantra that sad guru who has given me mantra that in his life that same mantra that not siddhi hasn't got uh, he hasn't got siddhi in his own life then that mantra is of no use at all you understand the point that uh, that mantra is of no use at all it's useless mantra that mantra is of no use that mantra you do haven't got that siddhi in your own life that mantra is of no use at all that if some aparadhi that is doing the work of some guru then that his uh, his mantra is of no use in manu samhita also it is written that for mata ji is that mantra what they are actually giving there is no use fruit of that at all it's useless it's already written in manu samhita that yagya whatever actually they are doing all mantra diksha given by mata ji there is no fruit at all in manu samhita it is written so then shri guru charan shri lotus feet of shri guru that what diksha you are getting on to the lotus feet of shri guru dev you are getting that that is the only protection for me that that's why guru dev has given me diksha to get to give me protection all the time from maya is sadguru that same sadguru ye diksha guru ka charan that on to lotus feet of the diksha guru and that shiksha guru on to his lotus feet that with tremendous nishta should be there deep nishta tremendous magnanimous rati should be there otherwise whatever kind of uh, you are uh, doing you will not at all get any fruit of at all whatever you are doing so the first shloka it says that which are actually i am doing the and next week again we will be discussing the same shloka here actually it is written you do just one thing hey oh brutal heart oh mind you do one thing that in order to control your heart just to make your heart peaceful that your heart your heart our heart is actually compared to a very peaceful place man ka dusra man ka that the, there are lot of names of our heart shantaha means that your heart so so ragunath das ko swami pad speaking that on to lotus feet of your heart just take grasp his just catch your uh, heart just you are actually flattering and uh, 
that you are just flattering on to the feet of your uh, brutal heart that you are just uh, just you are uh, at the last stage of false ego even at the last breath of the false ego each and every kind of false ego and ahankar what is there everything you just need to leave throw it away and that kind of ahankar and false ego what is there you just need to throw it away and after throwing it away to get the lotus feet of shri gurudev that ghosta in brajadham in ghosta under under the lotus feet of brajavasis gurudev sujana sajane sujan means sajan sajan means vaishnav so and uh, to get the uh, guidance of vaishnav who are bhushurgan that those who are in varnashram dharma that brahman kshatriya vaishya and shudra it's already written here that bhushurgane means that brahman gane bhushurgan means brahman gane these are those who are brahmans that varn and ashram dharma according to that that just by that also that in chaturvarna also inside chaturvarna that brahman is actually topmost that's why bhusurgan it is actually written that means that brahmans it actually is counted in bhusurgans samante means that diksha mantra that whatever you have got from your gurudev Shri Namani means Namete means that Nam onto the lotus feet of Hari Nam. That Shri Hari Nam. Namani means that in Nam, which Nam? That Bhagwan Nam. That Shri Hari Nam. In that and Brajo Juba Dand. They are not. Uh, they are. no one but they are actually radha govind ji themselves yugal sarkar radha govind that brajer yugal kishor onto the lotus feet you have to take ashray it means samajik bhave समाधिक भावे सबसे ज्यादा दैट वेरी मच अपूर्वम अतुलनियम अतुलनियम रति अनुराग वृद्धि करो रति एंड अनुराग यू जस्ट नीड टू गेट मैच्योर्ड एनफ एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दैट इन ब्रज भूमि इन ऑर्डर टू कम इन इन जस्ट ऑर्डर टू गेट इन राग भजन इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट स्पेशली दिस पॉइंट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू maybe next week i'll be discussing it more and more guru goste gostha laish sujane bhu surgane samante sinamani prajana vajuba danda sarane sada dambyam hitva guru rati ma purva mati tara bhai shantar bhatus chatu bija jaache dita padu that on your lotus feet i am just praying this that you just do me kripa that's it so whatever be the case next week i will be discussing it more and more in details because manasiksha is not a normal uh, wish what i have to do it's my i i have to speak like this what to do naisham matistava duru kramange स्पृश्यात्तनाथ गमो जदर्थ मयि असाम पदो रजो विषय कम निष्किंचना